What's going on guys? Cheap Angler here and today we're going to do a test on a couple of my helmets that I'm retiring. They've been kind of retired for a while. I just uh, kept them as a souvenir. I have six helmets, seven helmets. Six are here and the one is not here. But um, I'm really a big fan of Scorpion helmets. I always liked them. I don't know why. They're good quality anyways. And you guys are gonna find out after my test and decide if that is a, it's a good helmet or not, a high quality helmet or a cheap built helmet. So, what we're gonna do today, we're going to put them to the test um, and we'll see how much force does it take for a helmet to break and shatter. Because I've seen on YouTube couple of videos where people were using uh, some helmets in China made and um, I'm not sure exactly where but I don't want to throw a country out there but I believe they're Chinese uh, quality built helmets and they would take a slash hammer to it and they would just shatter well in my case yesterday I was on, my phone, on the phone with my buddy and I was like, man, I have this helmet, this is an old helmet. Let's see how many hits it takes until it cracks. Or let's see if it just cracks in one hit. So what I did, I took a small little uh, axe. I just hit it as hard as I could. And you guys are going to find out what's going to happen. But for reference, this is a Scorpion EXO 400. This is my first helmet that I bought when I came to the States. Um... I don't know, it should be 12 years old, 13 years old, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is a Snell and DOT helmet. It's a Scorpion XO400. This is rated, uh, uh, this is a Snell rated, so you can take it to the track or whatnot. Um, so this has been a really good helmet for me. Uh, like I said, this was my first helmet, and I liked it so much that I bought another one. And this is also a Scorpion EXO 400. Same helmet, different color. I just liked it because I guess it was newer. This one was manufacturing date was older than this one. So I bought this one. And uh, like I said, it's really comfortable for me. It's a pretty quiet helmet. But you know, my head got bigger and then I had to change them. Anyways, um, this is still a functional helmet. Uh, my, uh, my mom used it when she was a passenger of my, my bike. Um, so I have the Bluetooth helmet, I mean, the helm, the, the Bluetooth for the helmet attached to the side. I just took it out, that's why it's a little bit ragged looking. But uh, yes, we're gonna test this one because I already did with this one. So I'm gonna do a couple of blows from this and then I have another helmet that I just bought a while back and I haven't really used it. It's a, uh, Fillmore helmet. I'm not sure exactly the quality it's built. It's, it's, it looks like it's a cheaper build. Uh, I'm not sure what's, where the manufacturing of origin is. Uh, to be honest, it's a, this is a modular helmet, so this might be a little bit interesting. I'm not sure if it's a fair comparison since those are full face helmets, but we'll try. Anyway, this is going to be the Fulmer helmet, and this is going to be the Scorpions. And just so you guys see what what this did to to the uh, to the helmet. So I used this axe. It's about a pound and a half, and then I used the four point five hammer lock. I mean uh, axe lock splitter. So I'm gonna do this again. This is gonna be a one video. I'm not gonna drop anything. It's gonna be from start to finish. So I took this one. I did a couple of a couple of blows right here, and you guys can see this is from the bigger axe. This is from the bigger axe. This small mark right here, this small right here, and this one right here is also made with the small axe. The bigger the bigger cracks, I just kind of pushed them down. With my uh, with my uh, my hands to see um, if they actually penetrated or not. 
But I'm telling you, when I hit it with as hard as I could, I hit it as hard as I could. This did not crack. It just, yes, it cut because the axe is sharp, but the helmet did not shatter. I don't feel any bulges on the other side. It still has the foam inside, but I don't feel anything that, I mean, this could help your life. If someone come, in, come with an axe at you and you have the helmet, you're going to survive. You're probably going to have a shock, but yeah, you're going to survive. This is going to be a lifesaver for you if someone comes with an axe at you. So, without further ado, let's get to the test. So, I'm going to, I know already what this is capable of, but I'm going to still do it on the Scorpion one, just for you guys to, to see how it is going to act. So, I'm going to try with a full one. Um, I'm going to slap the camera angle a little bit to the left. It won't fly on my bike. So, it's right here. It's going to put it right here. Yeah, I'm moving, so I have stuff all over the place. Just going to put it right here. And let's see. Okay. Full my helmet for the win. Let's see how it's looking on the camera. Yep. It's supposed to be. Just move it just a bit. There you go. First, with the small axe. I don't know what's gonna happen. Guys, use eye protection. I have my glasses. I'm good. Take that under my head though. This one looks like he cut, but not all the way through. Let me just do one more. shell this one opened up still functional so I have a nice little X on it now the test with the with the big one all right Nice quality helmet, you hit this cracked open. Just one blow out of that hammer. Axe or whatever. This is what it looks like. Yup. Your pumpkin would have been uh, smashed in. So, yup. As you guys can see, It's just a foam, really, not really attached to anything. Made in Taiwan, there you go, we just got a manufacturer of origin, Taiwan. Made in Taiwan, foamer helmet. Now you can use it as a uh, flower pot. Boom, crash, off to the next. All right, let me do one test on the old one. This is the old Scorpion helmet, all right? The one with the really beat up to death. And as you guys can see, guys, still holding. Yeah, it's a little bit caved in, but yes, I have already four cuts on it yesterday now let's do it with a new one after the pile of helmets now this brand new baby right here i'm actually going to slow mode this one so let me just pause the video and just slow mode it all right so i'm going to slow mode this one
Nothing. He just has a little scratch right here. Or right, I put in white angle. Like I said, I swing it as hard as I could. Let me just take these things out. Doesn't matter now. What it matter is, look at this guys. This one. Barely cracked the foam on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's still, it's still round. I don't feel the blade or anything, but yes, this one is much more uh, safer than Taiwanese brand. I don't even know what, who makes scorpions, but. Let's see. I don't know where it made. I don't know who made Scorpion, but yes. Right here, I don't really see any, any damage internally that uh, it might be fatal. But if someone comes, and blow the axe in your head as hard as you can. Well, this might save your life. This might save your life, and uh, your head it won't be uh, hanging out like this on someone else's shoulder, right? For now, let me just try. To but it did not shatter. The helmet did not shatter. This one is just a really, really, really sharp uh, axe, log splitting axe. So let's do another blow with the with the hammer part, with the blunt part. See if we're finally gonna crack it and shatter it like the former helmet, and then uh, I'll give you my honest opinion about it. Like I said, guys, Scorpion helmets, really good helmets. That is my uh, that is my honest opinion about it. Let me get it out. Yep. So we did the test. Scorpion helmet wins over Fuller or Fulmar or whatever name it is. Uh, always wear quality gear when you go riding. That's that's the most important thing you have when you when you go ride besides you paying attention to the road and to, to the surroundings. If you don't pay attention, you wind up dead because people around in the cars they don't really pay attention. They're on the phones. They're distracted. Who knows what the hell happened to them that day? So he might they might not be in their own uh, in the right state of mind. So. Or if it's just your mistake, maybe you're just, you know, oversteering or understeering and just, 
to end up something, I don't know, hit a puddle, hit a patch of gravel, grass or whatnot, and you'll slide. The helmet is the one that's gonna protect your uh, little Maduro Oblongata. All right, so wear quality gear. Don't wear cheap helmets because your brain is gonna splatter over the damn asphalt. And uh, yeah, wear quality gear all the time. Gloves, jacket, helmet. I know some states they have no helmet laws, Pennsylvania, Florida, and there's a few others, but I don't agree with no helmet laws. I know maybe yeah, you take the risk of going on a motorcycle and then yes, it's risky, it's dangerous or whatnot. But you know what? At the end of the day, I, do, I, still, want, I still want to come to my family to see my kids. Even though I ride and it's dangerous, I know. But I'm enjoying doing it. I'm not being stupid on a bike. Um, I'm not driving recklessly. And uh, I enjoy what I do. I ride and that's my relaxation. That's my meditation right there. For now, this was the test for the helmet. There's three helmets over there going to the dump. But like I said, if you want a helmet, a good helmet, Scorpion. If you want a crap helmet, he's even talking to you. But yeah, until the next video, guys, like I said, I'm moving. I'm a little bit busy and killing on my garage. Everything was a mess. But I just got a bike and I have to ride it. Unfortunately, outside, it's uh, it's snowing. Not now, but it's been snowing. It's been snowing the past few days, so I won't be able to ride anytime soon until at least the snow melts or the road gets clear. But again. Thanks for watching. Maybe you guys are subscribed to my channel. I post videos here and there. I'm trying to be more consistent with them. But like I said, I'm, I'm going through some stuff right now. And I've been going through some stuff in the past year or so. But uh, yeah, I'm moving right now. Uh, I will still post some videos. It's, uh, I still have a couple of videos to edit and post. One with the outboard motor and one... Uh, I have a couple of fishing videos, another riding video. Yeah, it's, I just don't have time. I have to fix everything at my house and uh, move all the stuff. And I'm doing a little by little off the work. I'm tired, exhausted and all that stuff. It's just my personal life. Anyways, uh, I did take Connie out for, for a little bit and I really like it. So far, so good. It's a loud bike, sounds really good. It's powerful, it has a power commander. I do want to get the, uh, should have been flash, maybe the mountain, something mountain, 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 mountain runner. There you go. And then it turns into a hammer if you're really pushing it down, which is gonna lock all the power. It's gonna be a beast on two wheels. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a great day, a great week, a great weekend, and stay safe out there. Go fishing, catch them all. And uh, ride safe, wear the proper gear, all right? Wear the proper gear. Till next time. Thanks for watching again.